Years ago to the day Jane Torval and Christopher Dean's Bolero turned them into ice rink royalty when they received the highest figure skating score of all time and of course took the gold medal at the 1984 Sarajevo Winter Olympics. Oh, it was such a moment, wasn't it? More than 24 million people watched the performance back in the UK and now the skating duo have returned to Sarajevo and are announcing they're hanging up their skates. They join us now. Good morning to both of you. It's lovely to see you, but I mean, say it's Good not morning. so. This just feels like, you know, the end of an <laughs> era. Why have you decided that now is the time? Gosh, well, 40 years ago, um, it's a long time. And, and in actual fact, next year, um, 2025, we've been skating together for 50 years. And we felt that that was a really nice round number to say, We've had a wonderful time, and it's time to uh, retire a little bit, hang up the skates, and no more touring, except for the last tour that we're hoping to do next year. And we, we feel that um, it will be the last tour, but we feel like it will be a celebration of, of everything that we've been through since 1984, winning the Olympics, which opened up the door to lots of other things in the future. I mean, it's fantastic being here in Sarajevo, where it all sort of started for us. I bet. I mean, it, we're just watching the footage now, and I think for everybody at the time, everyone remembers where they were, what a special time it was. We're looking at the World Championships here, actually, at the moment, but uh, that, the performance of that dance was just quite something. And for both of you, then, how is it being back there 40 years on? It's, it's quite emotional actually isn't it um, and nostalgic at the same time because we went back into the Zetra Stadium where we actually performed and stood on the spot where we knelt down to start the Bolero routine and so sort of got um, tingles in the back of my neck being there again. The, the stadium was actually bombed during the war but they've rebuilt it um, exactly how it was before and so uh, the memories come flooding back and everywhere we're walking you know, the people of Sarajevo, we keep coming across people and welcoming welcome us back to Sarajevo because they still remember that spirit of the Olympics at that time. We're actually, um, at the moment, we're in the City Hall. Um, we are invited here this morning by the mayor, who's been so friendly. Um, as Chris said, everyone's been so welcoming and they're so excited that we've actually come back to be here on the actual day that we won. It's, but I know it's Valentine, Valentine's Day to everybody. Have, happy Valentine's Day, but we always say Happy Bolero Day. Aww. I wonder if you knew um, back then. I mean, this is a, a moment for its, its sporting prowess, but also for the, the emotion of that moment. You know, even now, 40 years on, I remember that day really well. And if you think about, you know, um, the winning goal in the World Cup or Virginia Wade winning Wimbledon, or the Barbarians try in the 70s, sporting moments which were decades ago but still feel as big and important today. I mean, this is in the, the top three sporting moments of the British 20th century. Did you know at the time what a big moment it was? No, I, d I don't think we could have ever imagined because leading up to the Olympics, everything for us personally, we're just focused and in the zone, as they say. And we hadn't even thought what was happening beyond that moment, really. So we were just so um, ready to, to do the performance and hope that it all went well. And we were so relieved getting to the end of it that we couldn't have skated it any better because we'd worked so hard to get to that moment. It was only when we got back to um, the UK and then in our um, city of Nottingham, they arranged a parade from Jane's house, which was a little sweet shop in Baseford. And it was like a four mile drive into the city centre. And the streets were lined with people from there all the way into the centre and the square was a mass of faces. And it was only then that we realised um, how many people had watched and, and how it had affected everybody. And, in, and even 40 years later, you know, people still come to us and say, I remember where I was when you performed that. I was um, on the streets of Nottingham on that day, watching you drive past in the bus. I grew up in Nottingham, oh. drove past the Tordine housing estate on my way into school every day. The first <laughs> thing I ever did when I had a job was I bought my mum a ticket for your first live tour when I was 17 years old. Oh. I worked in the post office at Christmas. And you're now going to be taking 
you're dancing on one final tour next uh, year. Um, tell us about the tour. Well, the, the tour is, like Jane said, um, going to be a celebration and nostalgic at the same time. You know, they'll see some old numbers that we've done in the past. And who knows, there might be a bolero in there as well. I bet there is. Yeah, <laughs> but we want to bring along our friends that we've met over the years onto the ice with us in a celebration for that one um, last tour. You know, it's, it's 50 years of us together. So we'd like to say thank you to everybody. And if you want to come along, please come along. I think the tickets go on sale at 8 o'clock this morning. Aha, uh -huh. two yeah, minutes time in that case. People, with us. people will be poised. Two oh, minutes gosh. time. There we go. Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, it's just, you know, it's incredible. You've had all that special time skating together and then, you know, to be able to go out like that and celebrate with everybody else, I imagine it's going to be super special. Happy Bolero Day to both of you. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great Thank day in Sarajevo. Tours in the early months of 2025. So there's still time um, to prepare for you, but if you want to get your tickets, Buy them fast, I would advise, because I think they'll...